Hey guys, it's me, Troy Dellinger, and I'm going to talk about uh, hell. And uh, I'm, I just want to talk about a couple references of scripture to talk about this, and I'm going to talk about more about this next week, Lord willing. Um, so far, I have not gotten any prayer requests besides personal ones, and I have not gotten any questions. So, you know, there's no need to address any questions or prayer requests in this particular video because I just haven't gotten any. I told, I said, you know, that you could comment or message, but so far there is nothing. Uh, but Lord willing, if you would like to uh, leave some comments or questions, I, I plan to talk more about this subject next week. And, you know, if, if you leave prayer requests or questions, I will answer them in the video. And if not, then, you know, I'm just going to talk about, you know, the subject. Uh, so, you know, there, there are verses in scripture that talk about hell. And I would just encourage people to check out uh, Revelation 21, verse 8. <coughs> uh, Revelation 20, verse 15. Matthew 25, verse 46. Matthew 10, uh, verse 28. Mark 9, uh, verses 43 through 48. Matthew 13, verse 50. Revelation 20, verse 14, 2 Thessalonians 1, verse 9. Revelation 20, verse 10. Matthew 5, verse 22. Revelation 14, verse 11. Revelation 14, verse 11 is actually one of the most vivid uh, descriptions of eternal torment and hell. And you can also uh, read about the rich man in uh, Luke 16, verses 19 through 31. And Luke 12, verse 5. And these are just the scriptures that I wanted to reference. And like I said, I'm going to talk more about this subject next week. But it's not it, it's not important that you watch a video about hell. But it, it's more important for you that you study these scriptures. Read what the Bible says about hell. Uh, because, you know, the most important thing that you got to go to is not just a person on YouTube, but the Bible. Um. Because, you know, you can't get the word spoon-fed to you. You know, you got you to gotta read what the Bible says. And, and it, it can help you when people preach the word and when people talk about the Bible. Uh, and that does help. But, you know, the most important thing is that you read the Bible for yourself. Uh, so please read those scripture references that I referenced and do some homework. And then, Lord willing, next week I will talk more about this subject. Thank you.